Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, March 14th, 2022. All right, let's get started. One across. Little Hopper? I guess it could be a frog or a toad. Is this going to be an F? Car company with a T logo. Yeah, I think that's going to be Tesla, the electric car maker. Okay, so this is going to be a toad, I guess. Blank the cold, left stranded. I think that should be out in the cold. Big sports venue, that could be an arena. Very nice. Hawks opposite. I guess we're talking about feelings toward war. The opposite of a war hawk would be a dove. Yeah, so we have some stuff filled in here. Let's see. Euro is the replacement for the franc and lira. That's right. And then we have Santa Ana wins. Okay. Summer suit material. That could be linen. Neighbor on family matters. Isn't that Steve Urkel? Yeah. And it looks like this might be a theme answer. Um, it's interesting. I don't see anything really weird with these letters. Yeah, I guess once we get our second themer in, maybe we can see if they have anything in common. Lure. That could be entice, right? Baton Rouge School. Baton Rouge is in Louisiana. Maybe it could be Louisiana State University. I'm not sure if that's right, but I think that's a good guess. Tied as sneakers. That could be laced. Remains. Hmm. I guess this could be about physical remains, like bones. But it could also be a present tense verb. I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be stays. Yeah, we have DSL over here. Aging broadband initials. Yeah, abbreviated, so it's DSL. Yeah, that's not really a thing anymore. I'm glad they specified that it was aging. Okay, well, that takes the blank. Well, that takes the cake. Okay. Central room of a Roman house. Ooh, I think maybe a lot of Roman houses had an atrium. Yeah, a big open area. Plural suffix with good, hood, and food. Goodies, hoodies, foodies. Yeah, I think those are all things. 2020, for example. Could that be a measurement of eyesight? Wedding vow. I think that's going to be I do. Hairstyle akin to a page boy. I think you could call that a bob, right? A bob haircut. Online personal journals. Yeah, those are called blogs. Short for weblogs. Web designer's code. Hmm, that could be HTML. We have a very tech savvy corner up here. It springs eternal. Hope springs eternal, they say, right? Narrow. Hmm. It's not tight. That's too long. Narrow. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Brain. That could be mind. Youngstown's home. It looks like it's going to be in Ohio. I don't know if I've heard of Youngstown. So maybe this is going to be thin. There we go. And then what does that give us on the downs here? Ping pong? and ends for concludes appropriately, right on the right edge here. Letter after sigma, that could be tau, we're talking about Greek letters. Mornings for short, that could be AMs. Okay, so we're at our next theme answer here. Let's see what this is. I wonder if it's gonna be another name. Neighbor on full house, oh, it looks like we're gonna have a theme full of next door neighbors television next door neighbors okay so what was the name of the neighbor on full house it was kimmy right kimmy gibbler wasn't that her last name yeah it's kind of a silly last name steve urkel and kimmy gibbler 
So it looks like we're going to have two more next door neighbors here. I wonder what those are going to be. Do you think Ned Flanders is going to fit in one of these? I guess we'll have to see. Dinosaur in Super Mario games. That's going to be Yoshi, the green dinosaur. Bright's opposite could be Dim. So do we have an electrical ohm? Unit of resistance. Yeah, that's electrical resistance. Toys with tails. I think that has to be kites. Ones with negative views on humanity. Is that going to be cynics? Yeah, that sounds like a very cynical worldview. Bird that caws. That's going to be a crow. Cartoon character who's smarter than the average bear. That's Yogi Bear. I wonder if Yogi Bear does yoga. Blank 66, Classic Highway. That's Route 66. Gawkat could be Ogle. Blank and Void. That could be Null and Void. Ooh, so what is this going to be? Neighbor on Home Improvement. Well, I know the neighbor on Home Improvement's name was Wilson. Um... I didn't know he had a last name, actually. Yeah, I did watch Home Improvement when I was very young. Yeah, we'll have to get his last name on Crossing, I guess. Genetic stuff? That's going to be DNA. Exclamation from Homer Simpson. That's Doe. That's what he says when he sees Ned Flanders. Winter hours in St. Louis. Um, I think St. Louis is Central Standard Time, right? Some rodeo riders? Hmm. Is it going to be like cowboys? I don't know anything about the rodeo. Yeah, let's just skip that one. Brain's counterpart? I guess you could use your brain or your brawn. Nice. How fashionable people arrive, it's said. You can arrive fashionably late, right? At any point. I think that should be ever... Did you ever arrive fashionably late? Crimson and Scarlet. Those are two different kinds of red. So that could be reds, plural. And then we have a rave for a four star review. Yeah, that's good. Strongly disliked should be hated. Something that brings bad luck. Hmm. Is it like a hex or something? What is that going to be? I'm not sure. Let's down. Ooh, this is kind of a tricky clue here. It almost reads like it should be about disappointing someone, but I think it's going to be about letting down literally. It could be lowers. That's a great clue there. That's very tricky for a Monday. Hmm. Psychedelic initials. Could that be LSD? We had that on yesterday's puzzle too. Peculiar. That should be odd. Hmm. Brings bad luck. I have no idea what they're talking about here. Was his name Wilson Wilson? <laughs> That's so funny. I guess it must be. That's so crazy. Yeah. Wilson Wilson. I guess that's why I didn't know his last name. Um. Bad luck. What is this? Hood? Very interesting. Refinery rocks. That should be ore. That's where you get the metal from. Old cloth could be a rag. What a tree provides on a hot sunny day. A tree provides shade. I can't wait for hot sunny days again. Do the breaststroke, e.g. That could be swim. You'd get in the swim doing the breaststroke. Conceal oneself could be hide. Neighborhood, I guess, could be area. You're in the area. You're in the neighborhood. That's a very cute clue today, considering that we have neighbors as all of our theme answers. Successful conclusion to negotiations. Maybe that could be a deal. We could strike a deal, kind of like one of the original phrases on our Thursday puzzle. So that leaves us with wire for a secret recording device. Idea for Notion, and Meal, a good one is Square. Yeah, it's good to get three square meals if you can. 
Okay, rich, rich, rich. Hmm. Is it going to be loaded? If you're loaded, you're really rich, right? Boise's home, abbreviated. Boise is in Idaho. Place to get a sandwich? Could that be a deli or a substation? We had that on yesterday's puzzle too. Narrow street. I think that should be an alley. Lesser played half of a 45. They're talking about a record here, so I think this is gonna be a B-side. Nice, okay. Super duper, could that be fab? So what is this gonna be? It looks like it's gonna be Fred, bygone TV host with a famous neighborhood. Oh, this is great. What a nice way to tie up this theme. That's gonna be Fred Rogers, right? Better known as Mr. Rogers. Yeah, this is a nice little Monday theme. Everybody's in Mr. Rogers neighborhood. So is this gonna be hoodoo? Yeah, I think it could be. Is that kind of like bad voodoo magic? I'm not 100% sure of the origin of this. I have heard of it before. Writer Joyce Carol Blank, that's Joyce Carol Oates. Improves as wine, that could be ages. Wine gets better with age. Gestation locations. I guess this is gonna be talking about the womb, right? Or the uterus. But because they're asking for locations plural, our answer needs to be plural too. So we need the plural for uterus, which is uteri. It's one of those weird Latin plurals. Typographical flourish. That could be a serif. Those are the caps on some letters. Olympic women's gymnastics powerhouse. Yeah, that's the good old US of A. Positive quality. That could be an asset. So that would leave us with Erie, shallowest of the Great Lakes. Yes, and as we learned recently, it borders four states. And then that means this is going to be sift, sort through. Yeah, when you have a word in parentheses in your clue, that means it needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still sound correct. So sift through still sounds good. And let's throw that T in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 1452. That is a fantastic time for us. Yeah, this was a nice friendly neighborly theme for this Monday puzzle. We got this kind of revealer, Fred Rogers, a host with a famous neighborhood. And then we got three more kind of famous TV neighbors. Wilson Wilson from Home Improvement. We learned that his last name was also Wilson. Kimmy Gibbler from Full House and Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Yeah, this was great because this is right in my demographic. I grew up watching all of these shows. I watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood first, and then I moved on to Full House, Family Matters, and Home Improvement. Yeah, this theme was squarely in my wheelhouse. I liked the shout out to electric vehicles we got up here with Tesla. This little techie corner in this northeast corner was pretty cool. We had HTML, blogs, and even a ping. It was ping pong in the clue, but you can ping a computer too. Hoodoo is a pretty fun piece of fill. And I liked brawn and cynics as well. Yeah, those were all pretty fun entries. I think my favorite clue of the puzzle though was this kind of tricky misdirection for lowers. Let's down. Yeah, my first thought would definitely be about disappointment. So it's pretty cool that they went in a different direction with that one. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this very neighborly Monday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.